My mother never worked. Bonnie Smith Yakil. About the author, Bonnie Smith Yakil was born into a farm family in Wilmer, Minnesota in 1937. She began writing as a young homemaker in early 1960s and for the next 14 years published short stories, essays and book reviews in such publications as Catholic Digest, Minnesota Monthly, and Miss Magazine, as well as in several local newspapers. As Smith Yakel explains it, the catalyst for writing the newspaper for the newspaper essay shortly began after my mother's death was recounting my telephone conversation with Social Security to the lawyer who was helping me to settle my mother's case. When I told him that, the assess woman had said, he responded, well, that's right, your mother did not work, you know? At which point I stood and said, she worked harder throughout her life than you or a hundred men like you, and stomped out of his office, drove home, sat down and wrote the essay in one sitting. Although this narrative essay first published in Woman, a Journal of Liberation in 1975 is based on personal experience, it also makes a bolder statement about how society values women's work. Background on Social Benefits Social Security Benefits Social Security or SS is a federal insurance program that requires workers to contribute a percentage of their wages to a fund that they may due benefits from if they become unemployed due to disability. After retirement, workers can receive a monthly income from this fund which also provides a modest death benefit to survivors. The contribution is generally deducted directly from a worker's paycheck and employers must contribute a matching amount. According to federal law, a woman who is a homemaker who has never been a wage earner is eligible for social security benefits only though the earnings of her deceased husband. Therefore, a homemaker's survivor would not be eligible for the death benefit. Although the law has been challenged in courts, the survivors of a homemaker who has never been a wage earner are still not entitled to a social security death benefit. Summary in English In this narrative essay, Boni Smith Yakel tells the story of the sacrifice made by millions of homemakers whose works have not been recognized both by the society and the government. Smith Yakel challenges the government laws that grant social security benefits to the survivor of those who worked a wage earners. According to federal law, a woman who is a home, homemaker works at home, who has never been a wage earner, is eligible for social security benefits only through the earnings of her deceased husband. The main idea or thesis of this essay is that Although Martin Smith didn't work outside the home, the work she did should be considered valuable enough to entitle her to social security benefits. Hence, the essayist considers the law of regarding social security as injustice, discriminatory and biased, and thus they must be changed or amended to accommodate those homemakers like Martha Smith. Martha Smith, the author's mother, worked very hard at raising her, ch her children, doing the farm chores and maintaining a household, but she did not work outside the home for pay, the only kind of work recognized by the government. So, she was not eligible to get the social security benefit because she never worked as wage earner. And now, after the death of her mother, Martha Smith, the author, Smith Yakel, 
makes inquiry at Social Security Office if she will get any death benefits on the behalf of her mother's death. While the officer checks whether her mother is entitled to death benefits or not, the author narrates the life of her mother, who spent her entire life at the service of her family. First, she narrates the story of her parents' love affairs and how her mother feared marriage. After they married, they worked in a farm and produced children in every one or two years gap. When they had earned enough money, they bought their own farm and started living there. Whole day, her mother worked in the field, raised, children, raised chicken and cows, but they died of cholera. In the next year, there was drought and her parents had to carry water from the well. They couldn't save the crops due to the heat. During their hard time, when their fourth children was born, a father went for hunting in the forest and bought some home chickens, dogs, pheasant, and grouse. Her mother plucked the feathers of each bird to make quilts and pillows for the family. During winter, her mother made clothes for her children from the old clothes she begged from her relatives. Every morning and every evening, her mother milked cows, fed pigs and calves, cared for chicken, picked eggs, cooked meals, washed dishes, scrubbed floors, and tended and loved her children from the heart. In the coming seven years, she gave birth to four more children, of which one died and the remaining seven survived. In 1941, she was 46 years old when she gave birth to her eight children. She continued doing her domestic chores every day and kept making quilts and pillows, tending her vegetable garden, stitching clothes from rocks. In 1959, her last child completed high school. Finally, in 1970, she met with an accident when she and her husband were going to a town for shopping. The mother was paralyzed from the waist down, and the father died a year later. The mother was kept in a rehab center for treatment. When her health improved, sitting in a wheelchair, she still continued making pickles, baking bread, ironing clothes, making quilts, clothing, and writing letters. When the author completes telling the story of her mother, the social security officer informs the author that her mother is not entitled to get the death benefits because her mother never worked. In this way, condemning the government's social security policy through this essay, the author Bonnie Smith Yakel wants everyone to express their honor and respect to all the hard-working mothers around the world who are also called homemakers.